All right, here we are. It's been two weeks now. Welcome to another video. So we were not able to get any nuts off. I bought an impactor. The nuts are all just fubar. That means I got to buy the hangers. I got to buy the U. I got to buy the bolts. And since I have to buy all that, I'm... I could probably get away with cutting these out and using those ones, but I'm just gonna buy new ones since I gotta buy all those other three things too. And that plate on the bottom, that plate on the bottom, I'll probably have to get another one of those. More parts than I wanted to. This was an absolute nightmare to get off. And it was because I messed up and cut too low. So I spent a lot of time cutting through the wrong part. Yeah, that was a that was a big mistake. So now looking at this thing, it is not it's not bent bad. This side isn't bent hardly at all. You can look it down the down the the run here. Let's see, I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera. It's taken me a while to figure out how I'm gonna port this end. I'm gonna support it with the ramp holders. It's gonna work perfect. So I dropped one of my grinders, right? This one here, cut through the cord, so I had to re rewire it. And but then also that and that and honestly that didn't hurt that bad but it scared the living daylights out of me because I had pants on but the day before I was in this garb here shorts and flip-flops and uh but i did have my apron on when i was in this garb but i didn't have my apron on when i did that so and i'm just like look at my feet that's what just terrified me like if i had dropped a grinder on my foot without shoes on like that could have that could have killed me out here i mean the amount of time to get to the hospital you know like or tourniquet and stuff i mean just horrifying so yeah, I <laughs> set my rules for grinding at having pants, boots, apron, minimum, you know, I got a hood. So that was the big scary and hopefully that's the end of the big scaries on this job. So now I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, I, there's a little bend in this thing here. But I'm thinking I can get chopping it up, get what I need out of that. As soon as I'm done with plucking all these, this, like everything. The only thing I might not cut off is these bolts. They hold a cleat, and if I can leave that cleat, it's better. But other than those bolts, and there's just some in the back, the same story. All the stuff here, cut off, ground down. I figured out why this thing is a thing, and it's because they're using angle iron right here. And, you know, this could potentially go like this and bend so what they did was they ran this across because they weren't too confident about the strength of the angle iron by itself and that's also how they tied the other end into, into this you can see there so that is tied there so they didn't the only place where they just left this kind of you know on its own and I don't know if this is intentional, but that's twisted. 
I don't know, is the other one twisted too? It does not look like it. So yeah, that's just kind of bad construction. south before the wreck but yeah this little part has to be fixed and then there's just these bent ones here so it's really not that bad now that I get all the, the big heavy metal this whole thing might have a little bow in it I can't really tell it's bent in some fashion there's a little out right here but the plan was to use a tube but then I realized tubes are way more expensive than C channel L bracket rod all that stuff is cheap these straight extrusion piece stuff if you start getting tubes that have to be welded to make a tube or a square tube that's more expensive that's what I realized looking at this thing they did it all with angle iron and c-channel so I was gonna put a, a rectangular tube but now I'm just gonna put c-channel it'll be just as strong so the c-channel go boop 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 right and in the process of putting that new c-channel on there that's what's gonna straighten any potential crookedness that this thing may have which is really not bad to be honest i mean i thought it was so bad when i got it i was like what do i even do but just as i take off that thing it kind of got straight on its own so yeah i gotta finish cutting everything off of here grinding everything as soon as i've got that to that point boom I'm gonna come over here and start building this trailer and so far I'm um, not quite sure if I'm gonna have enough to go without using those are some scraps that I just snagged and brought out here to use if I needed to but honestly I want to build this trailer with this scrap stuff only what else do you do with it you know I mean, either I use it to build another trailer or it goes to the scrap yard, you know, or I put it back on this trailer in some kind of function, you know, but, you know, this is going to be a really you know, nice, strong trailer, you know, this is all about the axle, so I'll test it. I mean, it's out of bent up stuff but by the time i get done it won't be bent up i'll cut out all the bends and you know it'll be nice all right so this is i didn't do much today to be honest that thing getting that thing off took days and i kind of kind of brutalized me pushing down on the crowbar like this right and it missed and I pushed down and my neck went snap like that because my whole body went down totally faster than it was supposed to because I was ramming on that thing and so I just like wrecked my neck <laughs> and so I'm in for some days of pain now but anyway like subscribe peace thank you for watching my video make